So hello and welcome everybody to our today's webinar, HR Development with uh, Agosens Fidelia. I hope you can hear me well. My name is uh, Ralf Klimke. I'm responsible for sales and marketing and I have with me here my colleague Abdul Gulam, who will guide you through the demonstration we have prepared for today. But first of all, we want to have a quick look in uh, how Agosens Fidelia can help you uh, in efficient print planning how e and show you how easy it is to push backlog items to sprints and how it can help you giving you a better overview on effort and story points for your planning. So this is uh, where we want to put a little bit more focus on today. But before that, just let me go through the agenda. We will have a short in introduction slide. Um, talk a little bit about Argosens Fidelia, what's in the package, and then go directly into the live demonstration. So if you have any questions, uh, you can raise them at any time through the questionnaire panel here uh, in the Microsoft Teams system, and we will collectively answer them all at the end. So don't hesitate to get rid of your questions at any time during the session. here. A few words about Argosens. Um, we have established a company in 2009 where we specialized uh, with our product Argus and Symphony for tool integration and data exchange. Later on, um, 2014, we launched the first edition of uh, Argus and Fidelia, uh, at that time, mainly for requirements management. In 2021, uh, we launched um, a successor or an add addition to Argus and Symphony called Argus and Symphony 1 for more simplified tool integration where customers can establish integrations via point and click administration. And last but not least, last year um, we launched Argus and Sphelia second generation uh, where we put a big focus on HR project collaboration and HR development. So there's still means for requirements management, um, for document-based requirements management, but now the focus is more on the HR development and how, how teams can connect to the classic requirements management as well. So this is all covered under one umbrella, so to say, with our sense of idea. Uh, here, a quick slide uh, on our reference customers. So if there is the need for you to get in touch with one of our existing customers to get a first-hand impression about Argosense and our company. Um, just um, let us know and we will establish a contact here. So now, Argosense Fidelia for HR project collaboration and uh, HR development. Um, yeah, is it just another collaboration tool? On the one hand side, yes, because there are already some on the market. On the other hand side, we think we doing some things a little bit different than others. For example, um, we offer still an on-premise installation. Of course, customers can go in the cloud with our product, but uh, we have seen in the past that not everybody was happy with going, uh, with having been forced more or less to go into the clouds, uh, especially in the European market. Um, there's still some need to have uh, own on-premise installation or maybe in a private cloud. So this is completely supported with our system. So it's a ready to start application. So there's not much uh, effort for administration upfront. So you can install, make some configurations and start right away using the product for your users. Um, we have uh, streamlined the usage patterns. So it's uh, very much Scrum inspired. Um, so the, the whole process um, is aligned with uh, the Scrum methodology. And obviously you will see that in the in the demonstration, there is uh, nearly no training for the users necessary. So it's very, very easy to use. And what we, what we built here is a complete end-to-end -end platform from requirements, from stories, down to code, to build management, to delivery, and also what we will add in future um, is the possibility to um, also to get input from existing customers usage uh, via incident management. So this is something which we will also add to, uh, to the product uh, later this year. So going through the 
DevOps 8, so in the planning phase, uh, where we see um, Fidelia is the component called uh, Fidelia Agile, where you can manage all your backlog, your stories, epics, sprints, so do all the development planning, so to say, also your requirements management documents um, in this, uh, this uh, component. Um, as I already said, it's Scrum inspired, and as you will see, uh, of course, we have the typical um, items like boards, we have a backlog, we have sprints. Um, there's there's some special things you will see, uh, which I think we make a little bit different than others. Um, for example, with our side by side views, where you can drag and drop uh, your backlog items into different sprints. So you have a few directly for different sprints at once, for example. We have uh, the typical charts and dashboards, for example, for burn down or velocity charts uh, that are very import important in, um, in your planning. From the repository perspective, we have a built-in um, repository, Git-based, um, where you can simply choose for each of the projects in which repository that should be, they should be stored in. Uh, we offer a lot of migration options from existing source report repositories like GitHub, GitLab, or others. Um, also, that is very important if you need a starting point. Of course, most of the companies already have an existing uh, software development, of course. Um, and what is very nice that uh, in, in our <clears throat> in our uh, interface, you can navigate from these stories directly to the commits and to the changes within the source code so that you have with uh, one or two clicks a direct overview about what has changed. You see a different difference view what has changed for for um, for the implementation of a certain story, for example. Uh, we are supporting branches and pull requests, um, um, of course, um, with our repository. And uh, from the from the build and test perspective, called Fidelia Pipeline, we have a component for CI/CD with uh, automated builds and test runs, um, where you have uh, one click access to your build logs. And of course, we will give you indicators uh, in the user stories um, if um, builds have been run successful or not. So this is also very important because you maybe start a build, leave the screen, go to the next. Uh, so and then you can you can have all the information uh, within your major or main uh, planning screen here. Supporting currently Maven and Java projects, um, test containers for test automation, of course, we, we are supporting, um, and there will be uh, also a lot more coming in this perspective. Um, then uh, also under the release and deploy um, component of the artifacts, we are supporting a Kubernetes-based deployment, um, so where we can build a project automatically, generate your Docker images, uh, what will follow later this year will the automatic creation of HAM charts and uh, the complete deployment maybe to your to your cloud application instances. So this is what we what we will do in uh, in the future of this year definitely. And from the operations and monitoring perspective, um, as I already said, we will um, include an incident module where we, where you can create incidents either within Fidelia or from outside uh, with an existing incident management where you maybe already collect the incidents coming from your customer internal or external base, um, which then will be integrated completely automated with, for example, Remedy, ServiceNow, Salesforce, and other incident management systems. Jira as well, of course. Okay, so now I think we can Turn over to Abdul um, and uh, get the first view on the system from him. Yeah. Thank you, Ralph. Hello, everyone in the meeting. Uh, welcome to the show. So today uh, I would like to show you uh, the Fidelia application itself, uh, walk you through how easy it is to, to do an agile uh, scrum based planning for your projects. Uh, so that will be the focus. 
and we will show you a little bit on how uh, integrated the whole DevOps platform is. Like uh, my colleague Ralph mentioned, we have our own repository, we have our own uh, pipeline, and all of this is integrated in such a way that the developers don't need to put in too much effort. So I'll jump directly into the uh, into into the Fidelia application. So I'll start my screen sharing. Give me a second. So I hope you can see my screen. So now let's jump right into uh, the Fidelia application. So as soon as we open the URL, this is the login page we are presented with. I sign in with my credentials. And then we land on the uh, page usually where we uh, select the project. And then once we select the project that we want to work on, we are then at the so this is the home page, this is the page that we land on. And then here you will have all the projects that you are now working on. So we have now for this demo, a Fidelia demo project. So let me go into that. As soon as I go into the project, <coughs> the window that we land on is the backlog. So the backlog window is organized in such a way that all your items that are not yet part of the sprint, all the tickets that are not yet part of the sprint are living on the left hand side of the panel. And on the right hand side of the panel, you have a nice overview of all the sprints that are there that are planned now. So the uh, the idea with uh, with Fidelia is that it gives the project owners or the project planners uh, an overview of all sprints that are available starting uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the the very first screen. So this allows you to to better plan your uh, better plan your backlog items in such a way that it is uh, it is a breeze. Basically, you just uh, track and drop items into the design sprint while you're planning, rather than jumping around multiple windows. So that's the layout. So we have the backlog, the items that are not yet part of the sprint. We have the sprints window where we can see literally all the sprints that are available that are there, and we can also see what epics that are there. So we can just say, for example, here, create a new item, my first epic, and then submit. So as soon as the uh, epic is created, then if we go back here, you can see this is the epic that we just uh, added. So we can go into that epic, and then we can see at the moment it has zero items inside. So what we could do is when we create our first epic, we can also just directly start adding items here. So I can just say add a story here, and this can be my very first story. So, and then as I hit enter, you will see that this item has been added into my epic, my very first epic, and the number of items here, sub items here count, that changes to one, and that ticket also shows up in my backlog automatically over here. So that shows as my first story. So all of this is organized in such a way that you, the user has to have minimal mouse clicks and minimal transitions between windows. Everything sort of happens on the same uh, window and in the same workflow, let's say. As soon as we have finished building our Epic, so we can go to our sprints and then we can organize all our backlog items into the desired sprints that we need. <clears throat> And in each item, you will see some uh, small information icons. And for example, here there are two comments in this uh, item. There was one comment in it, and then you also see the effort points. So the effort points then gives you a better picture on how difficult or how long the sprint is going to take and how much volume can the sprint contain or how much more items can you add to this sprint. So that is also tallied here on the bottom of the screen. So here you have, for example, uh, six is the total effort points for all the tickets into this basic employee UI sprint. And of that, three are open and three is in progress. 
and none are closed. So this is an overview of your sprint. You always have this overview. So whenever you are planning your sprint, you immediately see how much effort. So if you have a team of five members and the maximum effort points that they can uh, accomplish in a sprint is let's say 10 effort points, then you have a better overview as you drag and drop your stories into uh, into the sprints, you will see the effort points changing and then you can from there decide uh, easily for your planning when, whether, whether to push it into another sprint or something like this. So we will see how easy it is to put it into sprints. Let's take this analytics uh, sprint for example. So uh, as a project owner, uh, of a product where I have multiple teams working on different parts of the software. I can have a team that is working on the employee UI, one that is working on analytics, analytics. then I would have different sprints for each of these teams, and then I can plan the backlog items into those sprints specifically. So let's say there are to these two backlog items where as an inventory manager, they want to see the frequency in which the PC components are bought. I just simply drag it, drop it into the sprint. There's another one that is related to analytics. Again, I simply drag it and drop it into the sprint and uh, immediately these things, these items are added into the sprint. And as I'm doing this, I see there is this my first story. This is just an example. Let's say we just put it into the custom UI uh, improvements. So it is just as easy as it, as I just showed you. You don't need to jump between windows, to jump between tabs. All your sprints are laid out to you in a pretty simple fashion here, and you can very easily uh, plan your backlog across multiple sprints by just simply dragging and dropping them into the relevant sprints. And as I was saying, you can also then uh, with your team discuss then how much effort points this is this ticket going to take. For example, they say okay, this is going to be three. Okay, good submit. And then we have demo nine. And then let's say for this one, they say oh, this would be a little bit more difficult. We need F5 first points. That's fine. And then as a summary, then you will see here. This new analytics sprint takes eight effort points to complete, and eight of that is in open status. So this gives you a better idea and a better picture, a better overview on your backlog items and how well you can uh, plan them and how easy it is then to push them across uh, different sprints. So that is the sprint planning and the epic uh, uh, breakdown and the sprint planning and the backlog organization of uh, the symphony uh, for the Fidelia environment. So it makes it very simple with a couple of clicks. This is the aspect of the whole planning layer. The second layer that we were talking about was how well of a DevOps tool, how well of an integrated DevOps tool Fidelia is. So starting from this user interface, you already see it is very minimalistic. There is not much that is going on around here. Uh, and from here you can see uh, already what kind of commits go into each of the user stories. So as a developer, uh, what all uh, what the developer has to do is simply know what is the ticket number that he's working on. So he just needs the ticket number. And then once he is working on his code, so there's not much that he has to do. I just for a sample, I'll add something here. This is another short, something like this. And then I can just simply say get comment. And then I add simply the, uh, the ticket ID here, demo minus six. Then I will just say new changes coming, something like this. And then I do a commit and push. Uh, and then as soon as I push it, so the push is done. And now I go into my uh, window here. And then as I as you can see, the comments has increased by one. There was initially one comment. Now there are two comments. And if I go into the ticket in the comment section, I can see what was the comment that I just made. And interestingly, as you see in the comment, there is also a success message. Now what is this success message? We'll have a look at it. As soon as I click it, 
it goes into the pipeline. So not only was my code checked in, but the pipeline was triggered and the uh, and the and the application was built in the build server and uh, you can then just directly deploy it from here uh, to whatever location you want to so that is the level of integration that we have brought into the picture for fidelia so that is on clicking the success it takes you to the pipeline it shows you how the pipeline went and you can also click on the uh, command itself and it will take you to the repository so that is our git based repository that we have uh, inbuilt into fidelia and as you click through it, you will see uh, specifically what were the changes that were done as part of this commit message. So that is the level of integration that my colleague Ralph was talking about. So this DevOps tool is integrated in a sense where the developer, as a developer, uh, you wouldn't have to do anything at all. Just remember the ticket ID that you're working in and everything seamlessly works in the background. And as a project owner or a product owner, it is very, very easy for you to plan out your products uh, in such a way that you can then very seamlessly assign all the backlog items into multiple sprints in a single window UI, which makes your life extremely easy. So that's just a short demo on how easy it is to organize backlogs into multiple sprints in Fidelia and how well integrated the DevOps platform is from starting from a simple check-in, how the code is built and how the code is ready to deploy in the pipeline directly. So that's just a short demo of Fidelia. Hope you guys liked it. I'm open to any questions. Thank you. So thank you, Artur. Um, very, very interesting. So I will turn back to my screen. Um, as I can see that there are currently no questions. One hint here from my side. Uh, if you want to have a uh, possibility to test the product by itself, just register um, for our online test drive. We will um, prepare then a, a cloud instance for you where you can get uh, already built uh, and configured implementation of Iversense Fidelia where you can play with it and uh, get your first hands on impressions. Or if you like to have to talk to an expert, uh, just call us or send us an email to mail at Iversense.com or use our uh, contact form. Um, so we will react as soon as possible and get in touch with you too to arrange everything you uh, you need. Um, for your information, this webinar has been recorded. Uh, you can watch it at any time using the, the same access link you have used right now to access here. And as I said, if you like, um, visit us on, uh, on our website, arbusentence.com and uh, get information, get in touch with us. And I would like, to encourage you to follow us on Xing or LinkedIn um, so that we can increase our follow up base here right now as well. So thanks uh, very much for joining and enjoy the rest of your week and hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.